Hey everyone, welcome to a new review from Android B. We're taking a look today at an educational app called Hands-On Equations, the fun way to learn algebra. I know what you're thinking, math and fun don't really mix well together, but trust me that after you see what this app can do and how easy it is to learn equations, you'll change your mind. A third grader could easily learn, based on the visual method presented in this app, how to solve equations and adults could use it too, but you know, I don't want to <laughs> upset anyone. So let's get started. I'll show you first a sh short presentation about uh, the app. Students no longer have to be intimidated by algebra. Today, a new educational tool called Hands-On Equations is making the subject fun and easier to learn. The innovative teaching system is designed to help students as early as the third grade easily understand algebraic equations using a physical and visual model. Instead of working with uh, variables and constants and everything is visual in front of you and you can instantly understand the difference. Almost like game pieces, pawns and the number cubes, and they're transitioning an, an abstract equation into something that is very concrete and very familiar to them. Thanks to the Hands-On Equations educational tool, students as early as the third grade are well on their way to building a solid mathematics education while having lots of fun. I'm going to stop it now. I think you understood from the, this short presentation what the, this app does and what the method is behind it. And you should know that this method helped over one million kids to learn equations, so it's a proven met method to do that. This is the level one app. There will be two more following, level two and level three. And this light version only includes three lessons. There are three more available in the paid version, which you can for each we can you can find a link in the AndroidB.com uh, presentation page. So each lesson starts with a video presented by Dr. Henry Borenson himself. He invented uh, the hands-on equations. I'll show you this video a bit too. In this example, we have a balanced scale. We need to find the value of the pawn if both sides balance. Well, if this side has a weight of... When you start a lesson, it's mandatory to watch the video to understand what you have to do. And since I already did that, I'm going to show you exactly what you could see in this video too. So I'll continue the lesson. This is the first exercise. What you have to do is find the value of the pawn. So... You have a balance here, and the idea behind this method is that the, the balance should always be balanced. So the same amount you have on the left side should be on the right side too. If you have an 8 and a 5 on the right side, meaning 13, and two pawns and a 3 on the left side, this means that those two pawns should, should uh, count up to 10. So if we put in here that each pawn is 5, we can then uh, check, indeed, if by replacing the pawn value with 5, we're going to have a balanced equation. So if we have two pawns, to multiply by 5, it's 10, but 3, 13. So I'm going to choose 13 on the left side. Now 8 plus 5, 13 on the right side. And the system announces us that it's correctly done. I'm not going to do the other exercises. So you have two practice exercises for lesson one and you also have 10 exercises. So that's 12 in total, 12 practice exercises. In lesson two, uh, things get uh, a little more advanced in a way that if in the first lesson you have had to guess what the pawn value is by trial and error, meaning you would try with the pawn value, then increase it until you'd have uh, equality you have to create the equation and solve it based on what's written on the board. So right now the equation is 3x plus 1 equals x plus 7. So what we have to do is put three pawns on the left. 1, 2, 3. This is the three axis. Then add 1, the value 1. And 
And on the right side, what we have to do is add a single pawn and uh, value 7. So we're going to add a pawn and the value 7. Now the equation is completed on the balance 2 and all we have to do is solve it. I'm going to use a little of my algebra to see. So it's 2x equals 6, that means x is 3. We're going to put in here 3. I'm going to show you there's an auto check button which will take into account the value of the pawn being 3 and calculate the left uh, side of the balance then the right side of the balance too. You see it's adding 3 plus 3 means 6 plus 3 9 plus 1 means 10. So 10 on the left side, 3 plus 7 means 10 on the right side. So this means our equation is correct. I'm just gonna add it in here to validate it. Let's go back now and start lesson 3 which is the most advanced one from the light version where uh, you actually have the value to physically remove pawns to balance the equation. So let's start it. We have 5x plus 2 equals equals 2x plus 14. So first what we have to do is create the equation. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x. On the left side we're going to add the 2 value. On the right side we have two x's and the value 14, so 10 plus 4. That's it, this is our equation. What you can do now, and on the tablet version it's more obvious, you can remove the same value from the left and right side at the same time. So basically if I remove one pawn from here, I have to remove one from the right side too, so that it remains balanced. I'll do it like that. See if you dr tap and drag it up, or down it will be removed. So now I can remove one more. So we have three pawns on the left and none on the right. Now we have to solve the values. I have a two here and a four on the right so if I remove remove the two here I have to replace the four on the right with a two. Now the equation is balanced so we have three pawns and the value 12 on the right which means that x pawn in this case is 12 divided by 3, meaning 4. We're going to choose 4 here, and now what, what we have to do is uh, the check that what we calculated is correct. First, we're going to have to recreate the equation again for the final check. So 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 14. Okay, and as you can see in the check, you have a question mark above the equal sign. This will be marked as complete when you put the correct value on the left and on the right side. If you put two incorrect values, you're going to get a notice. I'm just going to do this as a test. You're going to get a notice that it's not correct and you see the, the sign that shows you that. So now what we have to do is calculate the left side and the right side. So 5 multiplied by 4, 20 plus 2 means 22. We're going to scroll here and we're going to choose 22. Or we're going to do the same on the right. We have 2x meaning 8 plus 14, 22. And it's correct. We, we did it right. These are the first level, three levels of the app. There are three more as mentioned earlier and of course I didn't start the exercises but you have in total 30 exercises so a lot for a kid to learn. Uh, this is the reset for new student button and if you press it all the progress will be reverted and you're gonna start from the beginning. I'll click it to show you what it happens when Within three lessons from now, I will size of less. I skipped over the video, the presentation one, so you can see that uh, it's locked. So the practice exercises and the full exercises are locked until you watch the video for the first lesson, then you can complete the first practice exercise and the second and so on. I highly recommend you to check this app, especially if you're a parent and want to show your kid that algebra can be fun too.
for the price of the full version, which is a mere $499, it's really worth it to get the full one and wait for the other two releases. There's also a web version of the hands-on equation method, so for advanced learning techniques, you can visit their website too. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave your feedback if you've used this app and have any comments about it.